Hello, hello, welcome to IOTEC. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to code step by step from scratch. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how we can create multiplication, multiplication table using PHP. PHP stands for Hypertext Preprocessor. So you are going to create something like this. Okay, so without much ado, let's jump straight. So without much ado, let's jump straight into action. Um, I've linked Bootstrap within my head. I'll talk about Bootstrap in another lesson. So let's not focus so much on Bootstrap. Our focus will be how to create multiplication table in this lesson. Remember, you need to watch this video to the end in order to enjoy whatever I have for you in this particular tutorial. So I'm going to create a division. So I'll create a div and I'll give it a class of container because I'm using a Bootstrap. I want everything should be within what? Within the a class so I'm going to give you a class called container okay so I'm giving a container class so within this container I'm going to first give it a header so I'll give it h1 header okay so I'm going to say okay I want to type everything into caps so let me say more multiplication table as simple as that so this is going to be my heading for my multiplication table. when i load my page you, you should see what multiplication table we can easily center this okay we can center this using boost bootstrap class if i go and i give it a class so within my bootstrap i'm going to say class so if i give it a class and i say text center <coughs> that is text center and i go back and i load my page this text should be at the center okay so now we can go ahead and start creating our multiplication table how then do we do that i'm going to in bootstrap we have what you call grid so you have 12 grid columns okay so if i come down here i'm going to create another div or create another div and in this div what i'm going to do is that okay what i'm going to do in this div is that let me zoom out a bit okay what i'm going to do in this div is that i'm going to give it a class and i'll call this class a row okay so within this row i can have several row, row within my web page so what i'm going to do is i'll create another class within this so like i said we have grid in bootstrap we have grid and we have 12 column grid okay so i'm going to divide this page into 12 so that i have i can easily have my multiplication table as we've seen at the beginning of this tutorial so I'm going to create a div. So within this within this rule, my first div, I'll give it a class. And the class is going to be column. So the column is going to be, I'll give it a column of two, a medium column of two. So within this, I'm going to embed my PHP code. Okay. I'll talk more about PHP later on. So I'm going to, to embed any PHP code. I need to use what? The PHP keyword by doing this. If you don't know much about PHP, just follow this tutorial and then i'll talk about php in another lesson okay for the purpose of this our main focus is to generate what we call a multiplication table so over here i'm going to write my program to generate my first word multiplication table i'm going to use a loop statement like i said to create a variable in php you use what you call the dollar sign so i'll say the for loop i'm using the for loop for this lesson i can easily generate i can also create what we call a while loop for this but like i said in this lesson i'm going to use the for loop so i'll go ahead and say dollar so let me say count i'm going to count my number so i'll start counting from one so count is called to what one and then i'll bring a colon and then i'll say the same process count so count less than or equal to what 12 so i want to generate a multiplication table up to 12 and then the last one i'll have to in increment my count okay so i'll say count plus plus okay so this are my condition and then what i'm going to print is i'll say echo so remember in php to print out some to use the echo statement okay so within my brackets i'll say what i'll put into quotation i'll say two so i want to start with the two time timetable before we move to three four and then in that order so within this i will just go to two and i'll bring the times and then to concatenate in 
Python we're using the plus in JavaScript we're also using plus but in PHP we use a, a period or a, a, let's say a full stop let's go with that so a full stop or a period so in this case I want to so I'm going to say two times so my count will be generated using the loop so I'm two times the count and then I'll bring another period and then I want to bring equal to sign but that should be in the code and then it's not going to give me so two times the number so it's going to say two times one and then to give me the total so the total I'm going to append that again so the total will be my count times what well, two because what I'm generating two times table remember if you are doing multiplication in coding you use the star keyword so two times two this way will give me the value so I need to end this statement with a colon remember if you are using PHP every statement end with a colon and also I want to echo a break okay so I'll echo, I'll echo a break over here and then a break will make sure after the first line is printed the next one will go to what another line as simple as that so let's go ahead and then run this code and see what we've gotten so far okay so you notice I've generated my first what timetable two times table so two times one two times two four two times six three two times four eight in that order it's so amazing so we started from one to what twelve using our code if you could see that we said what less than or equal to twelve meaning twelve is also inclusive okay let's add some bootstrap functionalities so over here i will give it what a background so i'll say bg bg means background so background i'll give it a primary color this primary color and bootstrap so bootstrap i've given it a background color so this will give us a very nice background color so let's load this and see you notice i have a background color around my table my multiplication table i want to add a padding to it in bootstrap which will add a padding i have to say p minus i want to give it a padding of let's say three okay okay so let's load our page again and see what we've done okay so i've given a space around my multiplication table we are going to do the rest so the next one we are going to do is going to be the what uh three time three times table so we will have to just go ahead and then you notice we've created our first what our first row and i said bootstrap you have we have our row everything is going to be within the row but we are breaking into what 12 columns so i've already taken two so meaning i'm having what uh 10 more so i can select the entire code over here and then control d to duplicate it so the next thing what i'm going to do by because i won three times so i just have this in which you are not aware of but i'm going to talk about bootstrap in another lesson so if i go back and i reload this page notice i've changed this color we are going to do for the rest or so maybe we we'll cover the entire two column at least we'll cover we we'll try and then do this for the purpose of this lesson you get some basic knowledge how you can use loops to generate multiplication table so you notice three times one three times two six three times three nine three times four twelve in that order so let's go ahead with the same code like i said we have 12 columns i'll duplicate this once again control d i'll duplicate this i'm changing this to four so i have four and then what four we have several boot, bootstrap classes especially for colors so bg this time around i'm going to say warning okay this is also it's going to give me a very nice background color so this is my next one okay so add a four times table as well so how then we generate a uh, five times table we are going to use the same process so you notice i'm going to just duplicate this once again control d and i'm going to change this to what five change this to five and change this to five as well so I'm changing this to five as well and then I'll give it another background color so BG let me see I want to use info that's another color in bootstrap okay so let me load this page and see what we've gotten so you notice we have a five times table as well how then do we get a six so it's the same process it's just a step-by-step -step process so let me just go through the entire process and then finish it up so I'm just going to con con select or control D to duplicate change this to six change this to six sorry i'm changing this to six changing this to what six okay i'll change this background color to something else so we also have what you call inverse it's also a background color let me go and load my page and see what is happening 
okay so the inverse is going to look like something like this don't be surprised it's like white and something like that okay so let's go ahead and then do for seven so seven times table control d to duplicate this code i'll just change this to seven changes to what seven what other background color can i use we also have what you call danger so i can use danger over here it's also a background color in bootstrap okay so if i load this page notice i was i'm using the danger so now one two three four five six okay so like i said we have 12 columns in bootstrap and generate a multiplication timetable using what using php subscribe to this channel and then don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload what new video so i've tried to zoom this in for you to see our final our final work so this is the final work we've done to so generate multiplication table using what php okay i'm going to end this here but don't forget to turn on notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload new video bye